Hello everyone. I wanted to welcome everyone to the holiday season and to kick off the season, I am making a special holiday offer. You can see it in the description box below and it's just a way of saying thank you. Hello beautiful Aries friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. You have the death card, the five of coins, and the two of swords for your person of interest overall energy coming into this reading. So I'm sure that many of you are here because you're feeling the pain of these cards. Their energy right now is like they feel hopeless. They feel as though they can't say anything or speak anything in a way that's going to get through or be helpful in the relationship. The death card, you know, is very hopeful. We do have a star of hope here. They want a rebirth in the relationship because they feel really down and out and left in the cold. There's a lot of sadness here. So we do see the key and the lock and this person, part of this is their own doing. You know, they they seem to um, not want to hear things that you have to say. They are not really in the mood for constructive conversation because anything that you would try to tell them, Aries, in a very simple, straightforward way, they they have their they have their blindfold on. They don't want to hear any messages, but then they feel really down and out. And you know, they have their head down. They're trying not to pay attention. But the key is here. The lock is there, so they could open the door it's right there the two of swords again is this like i don't want to hear it you know i don't really want to i don't really think you're being fair you know the two of swords is being very blocked off so when we look at the energy of their thoughts about you they feel as though life with you is very fun it's very vigorous there's a lot of passion the when when things are going good they go they're very good this is a person that likes to travel with you that likes to talk to you that likes to have fun with you it's very adventure oriented it's sagittarius energy now in terms of what they think about the emotional connection they do feel as though it's a lot of heavy lifting we get the nine of wands, but they have fire in their belly. This is a soldier soldiering on, but this, your person, you know, they just think they don't know which way is out. The um, energy, this is the energy of Pisces, and it's the fire energy of Sagittarius, which is sort of clashing a bit here on the astrological wheel because the, they have fire in their belly, but they're at a complete loss intellectually is like, how do I get out of this situation in which I feel like I'm drowning? So that's, you know, it's a tough energy. It's very much like this energy. You know, they start to get emotional and they can't really handle their emotions or they don't like to address them. Uh, at a very deep level, it feels uncomfortable. Again, we have Pisces energy. We have a lot of watery energy here. So in terms of their thoughts about the relationship, now they do feel that you are very good when the two of you work as a team. When we look at astrology, we see your person, we see you, and then we see the relationship. Now, when we're looking at tarot, we're seeing like a team. We've got the architect, the master craftsman, and the person who's hired them. So it is a team, very strongly, very important collaborative ability in your relationship. And they like that about the relationship. They also feel at times that they give more to the relationship. So, but they don't seem to mind that. They seem to be, but they do pay attention to who's paying for what and all of that. They seem to be a little money focused here. Now, in terms of their heart space, we see a lot of wonderful energy. Now we get the fact that you really work them up, that you excite them, that you're, you know, that when things are hot, they're really hot, makes them really excited. Uh, this energy can be a little bit inconsistent. So, you know, as a lover, physical lover, they may run hot and cold with you a little bit. They are moving very forward in their heart space. This is Virgo energy. We have Sagittarius energy. But Virgo energy is very much about let's be very well, um, let's plan, let's move ahead, let's make money, let's build a nest. 
you know, I like Virgo energy because the Virgo knight moves into the king of pentacles energy. Now we have Taurus. So you may be dealing with the Taurus and we have a Virgo energy here again. So your person is a very grounded person. So the way they love, the way they show their love for you is to provide for you, to do things with you, you know, to make love with you, to be consistent. Um, we also see that in their heart space, man, they've never had a physical connection probably quite like yours we see it here we see it here but that is the lover's card look at that I mean it's smoking hot there's so much passion that your person is consumed by it they absolutely you the two of you are very different though I would say from um, a psychological emotional could be cultural could be ethnicity could be any number of ways that you're very different but you very much when you are making love when you are really in their heart space they love you in a very dramatic fulfilling way you know the hierophant card and the ten of pentacles are traditional marriage cards so it says that they really see you as their person they have chosen you the Three of Wands is all about my ship has arrived in the harbor. So they see you as their person. Now, the thing that I think is tricky for you is that their emotional consistency is a little bit tough to take here. When we have this card, we have, you know, even a person who might threaten to break up with you or say, well, maybe I just can't make you happy. So there is a sort of real edge here in the relationship reading that I see would make you probably feel pretty uncomfortable at times, almost like it could be hopeless. But I see a lot of positivity here. You know, your person wants a foundation with you. They want this consistency. The, that's marriage energy. It's commitment energy. So in their heart space, they really love you. And the way they show their love is for what they do for you, what they give to you. I don't think that they're very ooey gooey here. I don't think this person is constantly oozing like, oh, I love you. And you go, no, I love you more. I don't think that happens here. I just think that they like to make plans. They like to say, you know, let's go on a trip or, you know, well, maybe we could uh, get a TV or or do you want to go shopping or I just think they're very uh, they're very money focused also as a theme in the relationship their intentions with you are a little bit they feel confused here so Aries we do see you right here so here you are the Aries Queen right in the relationship reading we see Sagittarius energy so there's a lot of fire here interesting but we see Sagittarius energy, and that's a planet of Jupiter and giving you gifts and doing nice things for you. So they like to do that. So their intention is to give to you. But we can also see some difficulty here. They intend to throw caution to the winds, but they have a lot of confusion. They just don't know how long the Wheel of Fortune is going to be upright before it reverses, right? Because when we get reverse, which the Wheel of Fortune is constantly turning, so it does look like when things are good, their intention is they want to make them good, but they're always a little bit concerned about about really when is it going to stay good these cards also i'm not fond of because it does look like there's sometimes when your person feels when things are not going really well there's a little player energy there's a little bit of well maybe i should keep my options open but mostly it's it's a pretty confusing your person's confused you know there's a lot of really deep feelings here the page of wands is that they intend to throw caution to the winds and but the two of coins, again, is a sort of ambivalent feeling of juggling two ideas. Do I stay? Do I go? I mean, you know, they want things to work out, you know, on one hand. And on the other hand, they're really fearful that they won't. The energy of the two of coins, though, can be juggling. So we do have three sort of warning cards. Now, I do not think your person is talking to other people. But I do think that when they get fearful, they start to get into this energy of being very concerned about how stable the relationship can be. 
the Queen of Wands, they're absolutely in love with you. We They see you as a very emotional person. They're very emotional about you. They see you as a spitfire. <laughs> they see you as, you know, that Aries energy is the sharp end of the sword. They see you as a, a very proud, fiery, attractive, probably the most attractive person that they've ever been with. Uh, and they love you very deeply. You know, they have a lot more depth to their emotions than what they show. When we get the, the Cancerian Queen, you know, with the fiery queen, you know, what happens when, sm you know, when fire and water meet? Well, water can put out fire. So I do feel that sometimes, and, and these are their sort of subconscious intentions. I don't always see this as somebody sitting around plotting these things. Usually when I get intentions readings, it really is, it shows me where the confusion lies and the, the disharmony or the conflicts in the relationship between their actions and what they actually do. So that's, it. intentions are different from actions. So let's look and see what they're doing with this sort of confusing energy. We see your person as a Scorpio King, a, oh, excuse me, King, of, yes, Scorpio King, I'm sorry, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So your person has very deep feelings about you and they do as this, oh, here's a Taurus King. So now we see these energies of the two Kings together and what we see is somebody who loves you very, very deeply. That's where they're at. That's what their action will be. They're going, they, that's a daddy card. They definitely want to step in and take care of you. Your person, the Ten of Cups, happily ever after. Yet another marriage indicator or desire for stability in a committed relationship. One, two, three, that's quite a lot. The Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor. We see, though, that the two of you do not speak enough. You don't, you're not as affectionate. When times are really good, it does show that your person is, tends to be very quiet. They feel as though they show you that they love you. I don't think they really say it a lot. If they do, all the better. It's very possible that you could get it either way. What we see, though, is as, you know, when we look at their actions, is that they are, you know, we get the death card here, the three of swords and the ten of wands. Your person feels very brokenhearted that this just may not. They may have to give up the burden. And so this is an indicator that, you know, again, we started here with a death card, which is a breakup. Um you know, and we end here with somebody giving up the burden, you know, so we're going to clarify these uh, tough cards to see what we have. Now, the advice for you or the guidance for you, Aries, is the sky bridge. There is a possibility for union. We see it all through this reading, okay? We also see the energy of the magician sword. Confidence is your magic. So it's very important that you don't get unraveled by this person. And it would be easy to become untethered or unraveled or wondering why they can't see how magnificent you are, or so it seems. But as I've just explained, they really do see you as magnificent. They just don't know if the two of you can be a couple in the best sense of the word. We do have heart home compassion for this person right now may be the key to really having a good relationship with them. Compassion, you know, they could also be having experiences emotionally for which you are unaware. But let's go ahead and look at these energies in terms of the tough cards. Let's get more insight. What does a death card represent here for our beautiful Aries friends, spirit? Give us the highest and best clarifications for a good, clear reading, please. Ace of Wands. So they want a rebirth. Because when we look at the death card, it is death and rebirth. So what we see here is that your person feels as though the worst probably has already happened. There may have already been a conversation in which 
they said they were going to take off or this isn't working for them but that ace of wands is a new beginning it's very passionate the nine of pentacles they see you as a highly desirable pre empress status that is single ready to mingle that you know if they were out in the dating world again they'd be looking at your profile so it's a very powerful energy of your person sort of picking themselves up and trying to dust themselves off. They might be going through a very rough time. We see the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so that makes perfect sense. I do feel as though, because you're really told here to give your person compassion, um, but we see your person being very down and out. So there are other factors here. The Eight of Swords, they feel overwhelmed and helpless in a situation that turned very abruptly in their life. Let's see if we can get more insight into that situation. Give us uh, some ideas about what this could be, please. We have the Three of Coins. Ah, so this could be another family member. I'm going to move these, okay. So this could actually be somebody else. This third, I don't ever read the Three of Pentacles as third party, but there is a triangulation here. And a lot of times, especially if we're a little bit older, you know, we have children there, you know, and if you're younger, you might have mother-in-law, father-in-law or whatever. But I do get that your person is suffering some sort of setback and it may involve someone else as, you know, that isn't you okay very plainly but it is impacting them and spirit says to be compassionate now the two of swords what is this the two of swords your person isn't a good listener okay straight up they want stability but you can't have stability and that's your energy aries you know they want this stability but they can't have it if they're not listening if they're not open to you know conversation we get the two of coins it's again the minute you say and i think they're rather thin-skinned the minute you say anything to this person and aries you do you you're blunt you speak your truth you speak the whole truth you speak nothing but the truth and the minute you get into that energy with them they start to shut down and the stability that you're trying to achieve gets sort of like oh you feel like you're on a teeter-totter all of a sudden you say something and you think it's helpful, you're saying it in good faith with the Four of Wands, you know, marriage energy, twin flame energy, 1111, but they just have this ability to take it negatively. They don't necessarily take it positively because we see the same thing here. We see your person gets a little bit unraveled. So I do think that they have a hard time hearing anything that is a criticism they take it very personally and they don't see it as objective they they try to but they they aren't really good at it they're thin-skinned like i said so when we look at the moon card we have the daughter of swords again i like this deck because it has pages but it also you know that's the energy of somebody who's younger more naive Quite literally, I think with this three of coins, I think you have a relationship with that person too. I think it can be a child, you know, and depending on the age, it looks like this child has a power, a uh, child has a power to, you know, sort of unravel your person emotionally. So the reading is actually fitting very well here. So we do get the three of cups and that is a clarifier for the the knight of wands i'm only going to clarify the cards that i think are a little bit ambivalent here so your person really loves to party with you your person feels like it's exciting to go out with you they have a lot of fun so i would say this would be a person who would be geared to again adventures excitement you know and i think that's very helpful i like that energy the three of cups with the ace of coins is the magic sort of potion in traditional tarot thinking to get an engagement we see the eight of wands here look at that they really do. They find you very exciting and very fun. They can go places with you. They can they can do the things that they want to have in terms of like adventure, some, you know, outings and so forth. So that's very positive along with all that stability. So let's see why they're so confused here. What is the Seven of Cups about? The Moon card again. We have, yeah. 
So we get them in this moon energy. When they start to feel under the weather, they just think that maybe you like somebody else or maybe you're keeping your options open. They feel as though sometimes when you're too happy and you, there's been discord in the relationship, they really begin to wonder what you're up to. They wonder if you're on a dating site or they wonder if you're, you know, contacting people on Messenger. We do get the Hierophant, though. They do think that you're very loyal. This is very powerful. So even in their darkest moments, when they feel uncertain that they might be the one juggled, okay, that makes sense now, the two of coins there, um, they feel as though you might be juggling them and they don't want that. Hierophant, Hierophant. You know, they have these beliefs and they have the desire to grow old with you. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Not that that should be a tricky card, <laughs> because it isn't. Ah, the Two of Swords. What did I say? Whenever you are in the peak of like the sharp end of the spear, you know, seeking truth, seeking action, seeking to make things better, they get intimidated by it. They think that you're absolutely cutting them down or telling them they're not good enough. And you're not doing that. You're just trying to clear the air. Because when we look at Aries energy, this is a consummate businesswoman. This is a businesswoman who says, oh, we have a supply chain problem. So this is how we're going to solve it. And your person starts to choke. It's like, you know, you're just solving a problem because that's what you do. You want to take action. And this person thinks it is some sort of a, you know, a criticism or a condemnation or somehow that they've done something wrong. And maybe they have, you know, maybe there's a better way to do it. But I feel like your person gets overwhelmed with emotion when you go in that direction with them. Again, not wanting to hear it. Two of Swords blocked off. You know, it's it's like that blocked off. That's that same card. All right. So why do we have the High Priestess? The High Priestess is really quite loving, quite beautiful. It is a card that speaks to the fact that your person and you read each other very well, the Hanged Man. Yeah. You're just not talking a lot very quiet on the western front so to speak all right the three of swords this is this is definitely a third party card again i feel as though i feel as though your person may not intend to but they may have a tendency to act out in your relationship their wounds so let me see what this is a strength card okay well that does make me happy as a clarifier so this person is broken hearted but the strength says that they have strength for your relationship who is making this person broken hearted somebody that they see as a star so i read this two different ways they see you as a rock star i mean i'm just gonna say it this is a card of uh healing and love this is a card of they think that you're the best person that they've ever been with in love but it also means that somebody that they think the world of and it can still be this energy you know of this other person who could be a daughter is what i'm reading uh, as being someone has, who has broken their heart, somebody they wouldn't give up on. But this is your reading. So this is also definitely how they feel about you. But I feel like your person is sort of in a dark, a dark space that is hard for you to reach them. The Ten of Wands, what is a burden that they want to give up? The Mother of Swords. Okay, the Libra Queen energy. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to read this two ways i'm going to read this that they find it very difficult i call the mother of swords judge judy for those of you who are not watching american tv judge judy is a court time judge or, you know courtroom judge that absolutely just eviscerates people who lie and she picks it up really quickly she's able to go okay i don't want to hear anymore that's a lie you've just contradicted yourself so she always this is a libra queen you know, she's not going to use her emotion. She's only basing things on fact. And so this person is, again, has a difficult time with the energy of somebody who's going to, you know, really speak the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, but in a very blunt way with a very sharp sword. It's Libra energy. It's, it's good energy. And uh, but it does speak to the fact that 
if you are in a situation and your lover, person of interest is carrying a heavy burden, you know, in this situation with someone else in their life because they've got fire in their belly for you. This is you. They have the strength. They don't go anywhere. Infinity symbol, their actions are. They want to heal this, but your person's in a dark space. And I would say that the burden for them is if you hit the, if you keep hitting something really hard with your words, um, it's not something they can really, they're not very good at really internalizing that in a positive way. So let's look and see um, what we see here. We have stability. Okay, so your outcome is stability. We also get purification. Well, that is, the death card has a tendency to purify things, you know. The purification, the resurrection, and purity. Okay, so there is a purity of love that your person has for you. And um, I'm, send, I'm broadcasting from Chicago, and I would love for you to send back the city or the place in the world that you're watching the video from. Sending you love, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks, Aries. Bye-bye.